there. I actually noted this stream. I didn't note my stream earlier, play Final Fantasy XIV in the live streams, but I did this time. Festion. Anybody will. All right. Uh, I won't keep uh, anybody hanging. Uh, no, that's not the screen I want. It's definitely not the screen I'm that one. Hey, there we go. Right screen. Hmm? All right. So, hello everybody and welcome to Bears and Dragons. Where a bunch of us nerdy ass uh, bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, somebody's muted. <laughs> or something. Because I can't hear Squall. Dungeons and Dragons. There we are. <laughs> So previously on uh, Bears and Dragons, uh, the Pirate Faith made the long journey from Waterdeep with the armies of the Lord's Alliance, Cormier, um, some devil worshippers. Although they look, kind of, they 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 seem to have just like disguised themselves. Uh, except for some mild insignia uh, as Lord's Alliance people kind of making it so it's like nobody knows that while the people that they're with know that anybody like looking from afar and spying on them wouldn't necessarily know that there's that there's devil worshippers inside the Lord's Alliance mainly because they're there that at the appropriate time they're going to be something the, the the devil army. <laughs> uh, there are. That's pretty much it. That's who you've been marching with. What you do know is that somewhere the eyes of Io have gone off. You're not exactly sure where they are. Um, Skyreach Castle uh, is uh, has. Aboard it, uh, a bunch of ogres, a bunch of giants, um, manning, uh, and it has become very heavily armed uh, for battle. But it is kind of hidden, and you know that the plan was that we'd ha stay hidden high in the sky. It kind of come down and and help on, and help uh, take out anything in the sky, and maybe even bombard the ground. Uh, a the metallic dragons, um, most of them are also in Skyreach Castle, ready to transform from a humanoid form into their dragon form and basically jump off uh, from various locations on the castle to kind of... Basically, this is all like an ambush. So all the attention is on the Lord's Alliance and all the, and the armies on the ground. While... A sky reach makes a surprise attack from the skies, and who knows what the guys I, I are doing? They haven't actually marched with you guys, uh, except for a few. Like like Lemon was there to kind of like coordinate things. Uh, she was there to to take Fang away. Fang is all safe and sound uh, and being taken care of. So, we go to a cutscene. On a cliff looking down upon the battlefield, sits a black dragon wormling. On one side of her, her is kin. On one side, her kin of chromatic dragons circle the sky over an army of mercenaries, fanatics, red wizards, devils, and giants. On the other side, the combined armies of Faerun. Well, there is the castle floating in the sky, but it's not visible amongst the clouds at the moment. A surprise for the Cult of the Dragon, apparently. 
She turns, turns her head to the sound of fla the flapping of dragon wings. She sees an adult black dragon land next near her. Come to join the fight, little one. The dragon addresses the young dragon, warmly. Uh, I fear I'd just be underfoot, being so small. That's okay, I didn't ask you about that. Here he's talking. Um, however, however, I believe I know of a ritual that can help. As the adult dragon tilts his head, curious. See this amulet I found? It allows me to polymorph into a dragonborn. <laughs> I use it to learn some music from some mortals. <laughs> they never knew. <laughs> Would you like to help me with the ritual? Oh. oh just come a little closer. The adult moves right up next to the wormling and notices a little wolf pup moves to hide underneath the wormling. The mm. risk buff. A burst of divine energy bursts from the ground, engulfing the black dragon, and he freezes in place, unable to move. Perfect! Soto uses the amulet and changes it to her dragonborn form, Lemon. Krebus, will this one do? Uh, yep. Start the draining. Uh, we should get this done before anybody notices this one's gone. Uh, Krebus and the eyes of Io step out of the nearby wood. Lemon pulls out some tools and some buckets from her bags of holding. Lemon jogs up to help her start draining the blood from the adult dragon. While the, while the dragon's blood is draining... Lemon turns to the area behind her and opens her ritual book. Summoning her quill, she starts creating the ritual circles. The entire process takes about an hour, but the timing is perfect. The battle has just begun. Rubith stands in the center of the circle of circles and raises his staff and holds up his hands. Receives his works, he says, and he starts muttering a prayer. Dragon blood starts flowing out of the buckets that are now laying next to the carcass as the black dragon starts whirling around him. They gather around each of the circles, turning into a bright white light. That expanse contract. Eon become instant. Champions of Ao, heed my call! And he slams the staff into the ground and beams of light dissipate, appearing in the circles. These eyes of Io from Iodron. Leon turns to Krivis. Found the leap hole? Krivis smiles back. Yep. Time for battle. Eyes of Io, all that can fly to help with the skies. Let's make sure the power of faith have a nice distraction for their infiltration. Lady, Kriv, me. Krivis looks to Leon. By the way, don't be jealous. You'll get your chance. Oh. And take it immediately. Don't wait. Leon looks at Krebus confused as the Nyquil Delmira family runs towards the edge of the cliff. They jump into the air and Leon's eyes go wide as they turn into their draconic forms. Mouth drops more, seeing the gigantic avatar of Io take to the skies. Leon closes his mouth. Show off. You heard the avatar! It's a battle! And the battle begins. Uh, the, your job is to infiltrate, and you've already decided your direction for infiltration, right? Yes, we are going to the, where the, um, or, or do we decide on the south? I think we decided on uh, the south, but we, because we sent some people rescue the, um, the the, uh, what's the, the emerald enclave was going to take one of the entrances to try to sit to basically basically they'll they'll handle any like minions that are in the area and try to save any per personal prisoners we're going to um i think um boy is going to stay out he's going to take the potion of natural form everyone's going to go into everyone else is going to go into my bottle holding the bottle, he's going to go with the gastric form, and then he's going to go with the chicken head. Basically. With the closed out section. Yeah. 
All right. So uh, before that happens, uh, you, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of you, because there's uh, Zindralov too. Don't forget your healer. <laughs> We're gonna need it. Uh, you guys, uh, uh, you all are are escorted by a group of uh, Harper agents that uh, were the ones who actually scouted out and then found this secret mm-hmm. tunnel. Secret tunnel. Isn't there only five of them? There's. Okay, one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, it's five. I, I was counting me as in one actual player. <laughs> no, it's five. No, I sent a message to um to Justin just to know if you wanted or if you could. Never got an answer. So. Okay, that's all right. He's busy. And you're escorted to the south side of the Well of the Dragons. You do uh, notice a some... You can tell from the skies nearby that there's uh, a bunch of different, like, forest creatures are uh, approaching onto the, the opposite side. Like, a, looking like you're coming in from the west. You, they're coming in fr- from the east east side let me let me do this uh, probably for yeah west east (laughs) you're coming in from the west they're coming in from the east um and they seem to be converging on a far the far side at what must be that entrance that they're referring to that you had sent the emerald enclaves to uh you also do notice um amongst them are some humanoids uh, but must be a bunch of them are druids uh, in some sort of shape, shape, form. It's just a bunch of squirrels. No, there's like some bears, elks, um, even some bir- different types of birds. You see a rock among them? Seems to be kind of covering the area. Because rocks are huge. And uh, Harper's lead you to a tunnel, uh, uh, easily able to avoid any sort of patrols that might be here. Apparently, uh, the attention is towards this gigantic multicolored dragon that's currently attacking the dragons that are in the sky uh, near the the northwestern side of everything. Hey, Wood. Mm hmm. No, they were running too. Is Druids call, um, asking for the Emerald Enclave? Oh, okay. For the Emerald like, Or they were actually Druids. <laughs> imagine, imagine in um, in Shrek Three, where the where uh, Snow White makes the animal charge, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, you do hear this uh, ominous sound of a of the great drakhorn uh, being sounded uh, constantly. It's like just this drone throughout the area. Uh, and as you get closer to the tunnels, it is much louder. You can tell that it's reverberating from somewhere in these tunnels. Uh, you go into the tunnels and you find the blocked off passageway. What do you do? All right, this is the time where we all should prepare. Um, go ahead and grab, go into the bag of holding, grab out the potion. Okay. So we got, you got the potion. The potion of gaseous form you you pull out of your bag. And hand it to Foley. Alright, once we're all into 
the bottle, then just pick it up, then take the potion. Okay. Potion you can't pick up with it. Okay, I'm going to make sure, just kind of like hold on to it and like float right through however gaseous form works. I don't know how. is gonna say I could do it without taking the, the, the potion. I mean Yeah, but it would potion would save my abilities. He has enough motive. What is it? Hold on a second. Elves of the grave. Yeah, Me with Bardic, Ghost Walk. It's a boss boss as a as a bonus action, you assume assume the spectral form in which you you have a flying speed of ten feet, can hover and ta attack rolls. Then you could also move the creatures and objects up if they were difficult terrain. But you have equal one d ten of the. You stay in the form to ten minutes. You can use this feature again. You must finish a long rest or destroy one of your soul trinkets as part of your bonus action. Uh, you use to activate Ghost Walk. So how many trinkets does he have? He has a limit of. But whenever a creature dies, he can get a, a new one. Yeah, I. my question was, how many does he have? Five. He has five. So technically, he could just use Ghost Walk, and, and the gaseous form wouldn't necessarily be needed, even if it's a solid wall. Yeah, because I, I have, I have the, uh, the um, uh, consumable item disease that many gamers have. Then why wasn't this brought up before when we talked about it? Because... Last session, we all agreed upon using the gaseous form. Because I didn't think about it. For once. We can wreck on. I mean, that's fine. And I think I think it would be safer to use the ghost walk because I think uh, gaseous form has a uh, low flying speed. Well, this has a low flying speed. It's, a, it, it's both this 10. So there's no difference. It, yeah, I think that it, it's the same between Gaseous Form and Ghost Walk. Okay. The only thing is that Gaseous Form needs space to move through. Even if it's like really tiny, it needs some space to move through. Ghost Walk really doesn't. It's whatever. Because we might need it later on. Or boy could use the, use the ability later on. But he can make the other team many more times. It, it, it's whatever. So, so boy takes the potion and says, "Look, I got this." And then you go into the bottle. Everybody goes into the bottle. Uh, nice, cushy interior. So Zindralov uh, finds the pile of pillows that he sat in the last time he was here and just kind of like sits down. And... Well, it might not be too long. Uh, meanwhile, boy goes, hmm. He sees, he sees the, uh, oh, he get, comes ephemeral and starts uh, moving through the wall of stone uh, or fallen stones. When he kind of, he, he actually kind of like looks around for a bit and realizes that oh, this tunnel was really collapsed. <laughs> and he come, comes through and comes to the other side around. Imagine boy doing the the song of uh, Daddy Phantom, <laughs> but you know. I mean, he kind of looks around. And is like, huh? There's no one here. He holds the bottle up, or he he pops out of his uh, the ghost walk form and he goes, uh, "Hey guys, it's all clear. I didn't even need to go invisible." He puts the bottle on the ground. Oof. 
fou. It's, I mean, you could still like throw up because of the sudden jolt of changing of size and. That's what I was thinking. Would, would that like count as. Oh, Bob does it now. It's up to you. Oh, wait. Hmm? It's up to you. Uh, due to your teleportation things and kind of the weirdness of the situation, uh, I would say maybe get a little queasy. Uh, I mean, how queasy, if you want to roll for it, if you're welcome to. If not, you could just be like, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, it, you, you get a little, like, upset in the tummy. It was just, like, a little queasy, but nothing that's going to really throw you up. Yeah, because it wasn't really complete help. Hold on here. Everybody should have a long rest by now, by the way. Just in case, for some reason, you haven't hit a long rest on your d, &D Beyond template. Does what count as teleportation? Dimension door. I, I know dimension door counts as teleportation. Yeah, it's kind of like walking through a door, though. I mean, it's called the mention door, so I assume that there's a door that you just kind of like step through and you're from one place to another. It only lasts for so long. Reset. Cool. And now, here you are in what's probably referred to as the forgotten entrance. Thanks. Um, yeah, you did a good job. He has a, an absent name, right? Yeah, boy. I mean, is it? Do you say that out loud? <laughs> no, I'm saying that does nothing. <laughs> does it? Yes. Yeah, Shatant is his. It, it's like he has names depending on his form. So when he's in his Vabankin form and and is a rogue, he's uh he's boy. When he is in his dragon form, it's Shatan. Uh, Let me get the uh, general idea. So this appears to be like some sort of lava tube. I'd say it's about uh, 15, 25 feet in diameter. It looks like in here it is not actually really lit by anything. So it's dark. Uh, you do hear the sound of the dracorn constantly moves, moans. Out. Does Vanillon have dark vision? Uh, Zindralov does not have dark, dark vision. Wait, we didn't buy him Struggle of Night by there? Uh, he's already got uh, attuned. Struggle of Night is not a spell he knows. Yeah. <laughs> those, those are uncommon, not a thing when. I think they require attainment. Nope. Nope. 
Those are one of the greatest. Then, uh, oh wow! Hey, guess what? Guess what? Uh, <laughs> guess what? Zingerlov recently got. Yeah, he was. It's like Je Gemma came up with her. I thought you might like it. Might like these because I just realized something. It seems like your entire party can see in the dark, but you can't. It just doesn't seem quite right. And sometimes you don't want to use the light spell. I know you got the light spell, but it is, sometimes it's not using here. I made these just for you. And it's it's like have you, you have you seen those those ones where it's like or or like those just like eye shaders which are just go over the eyes? Yeah. Um that's what these are. Except they're they're the color of his skin. So when you look at him and, and just the way it kind of adheres comfortably to his eyes, like he doesn't even, he can't even tell that they're on, on him. But when you look at him, it's just kind of like just a little bump. It's like his, it almost kind of looked like his eyes would have been closed the, the entire time, but he can see perfectly. So now, Cinderella has dark vision. <laughs> 60 feet of dark vision. He, she was trying to keep it subtle and with his head it gets kind of weird yeah. because you know he's a he's an elephant man <laughs> yeah. so so it's like the whole like straps around the head might be a little awkward so she made these goggles of the night specifically for him it just ended up kind of looking kind of weird <laughs> Everybody gets plus 10 to their dexterity checks. I wish I could set it so that for stealth checks. All these things don't uh, 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 not just get checked out. Uh, well, you can only cast one of them, it cast each of those spells once a day. Yeah. So you essentially have a charge, but you can only. Each time you use it, you have to use a different spell. Yeah. But uh, uh, D and D beyond, yeah, I know. Yeah, beyond and then after the level it shows up. Oh, it only shows up as just having one charge. Yeah. Oh well, that doesn't work. Well, sir, there actually is one that talks about charges, but. Yeah, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, there is no meteor shower on the cooldown uh, on this on this attack. You know. All right. So what do you guys do? All right, we go up. So do you want us to roll our uh, our checks? Well, you you said you pass uh, cast pass without trace, but you didn't say, "Hey, we're going to start stealthing down the hall." So that's why I'm not. I didn't have you roll. Alright. 19 for Cinderlov. <laughs> oh, that's right. Sister has armor that gives her disadvantage. And I'll check. So it's still 20. Still 20, yeah. Still, 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 still beats Cinderlov. Cinderlov, shh. All right, uh, so I'm going to go in front, I guess. You're just going to be hanging out with Zin in the back. You're so rude. I'm not being rude. I'm just being a straight. <laughs> it's okay. 
she's never attacked you. No, but you're very intimidating. Yes, she is. <laughs> um, okay. Left or right? I oh. I say right. So left. Yeah, so yeah. left. So one left, one right. I can see it forward. Yeah, one yeah. left. Oh, Sister is still last in left or right, though. third hand he likes small and he wants to go for big <laughs> well yeah. so yeah he's not going for small and i poke at him now <laughs> well should we go forward i don't know i don't know i don't know the way i i of Swall. Just assume Zinn is near Cathar. So <laughs> I will move him in. For a penis. Okay. So you come to a big old drop off. Oh. Uh, looks like this portion of the caldera collapsed into an underground cavity uh, ages ago from a large sinkhole. Now that is definitely not where we want sinkhole to is 30 feet deep and the sides, the sides are steep. But it looks like it's easy to climb. Do you see some dragon bones cover the bottom of the pit? Up five feet. I see the way we should go. Uh, you said not much on the other. Yeah, the uh, steep sides of the uh, roof. I'm, I'm just gonna put you. But I put you all as if you were in there so you can kind of see it. So the walls you can climb up and down easily because they're volcanic rocks, so they have a lot of handholds and footholds. Uh, but the bottom looks to be covered in dragon bones. Prime target for resurrection of dragons, I guess. Let's go back, I guess. I can see on the up exactly as far as I can see. Uh, yep. I said it that way. Uh, okay. I mean, technically, it goes just a little bit long uh, further, but you're pretty much seeing everything. So bad. So bad. I dislocated my knee earlier. So oh no! Yeah. It hurts like shit. I have the have word of Lord and this is not a good idea. <laughs> okay, hurts like a bitch. Do you see if I ping? Hey, I'm coming with you. Can you guys see if I ping? 
Yeah, I can see your ping. Just if they zoom out. I can see it. <laughs> right. I can see it. Okay. That's where she is. I mean, he's technically been following along. He probably didn't go into the pit. No. Actually, I'm assuming none of you actually went in the pit. Just kind of looked around and be like, there's really nothing here. Yeah. Well, Squall would have seen that there definitely was nothing there. As I said, just assumes that yeah, just assumes Zinder Love is with you. Uh, we arrive at another cornerstone, so I'm going to try to do a perception to hear if we hear something. Because we have, I haven't done it. And that's quite dumb for the one I'm trying. So, perception from me and from Bull. If we hear anything, or sense anything, or smell anything, you know, food. But I don't see and hear anything. Uh, Those are nice rocks. Mama, it sounds like... <laughs> That's a pretty boulder over there. Mama, it sounds like from this direction, there seems to be some sounds of battle. Um... And from from this way, uh, I think I, well, it's kind of weird because I kind of hear it from here and I can hear it from here. It seems like it might be the same thing, just coming to something, but uh, it seems like some sort of like, um, well, like, like Drake sound. Okay. Well, I guess the battles is going to be where our allies are, so let's leave them be. Yeah, I see a fourth wave, but like... Did you split? Nope. Nope. Oh. Just peek. Just peek. Yep. Alright, pause. If you did peek in over, over here, it looks like to be... A luxuriously furnished room of like there was multiple beds in there, uh, but it seemed to be like uh, some sort of quarters, and it's very luxurious, luxuriously decorated, luxuriously furnished. Gonna peek through the door, I guess. Oh, boy's gonna do it because he clearly. I, I'm looking at rocks, and rocks are pretty today. Well, let's just. I can see something. Huh? Right over here in this area. So. Technically, Squall hasn't seen this before. So I can't tell what it is. Dustin's seen it. Squall hasn't. He just knows there's a creature in this room. So he's gonna whisper to his kind right next to you guys and just be like, hey, something right around the corner. Enemy or allies? And I, it, it could be suggesting enemy. Give me a perception check, Squall. Now, you can make out some sort of shape. Uh, there does look like it's... Uh, you do see kind of like a, a some pens or something. Some barriers. Listen up. I got right what I wanted. So, I'm going to take out a scroll from my... Um, what's the name? My, uh, my backpack, yeah. 
and um i'm gonna cast the i think it's one of the two um zero uh, zero level spell that i got Nature. minor illusion okay I'm are you illusion minor illusion uh so that like i'm gonna Wait. cast it here uh, just, just so you know yes i can do that by myself without really you have to go to the portal uh well okay yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna say okay listen up let i'm gonna use this and i'm i'm gonna show the scroll i'm gonna use this to make make it so that um there's no no entry or nothing that passes so the illusion is gonna be like just an a, a empty wall away so that way if we pass they don't see us this is so minor illusion you want me to make a reflect like basically right here make a reflection of here well i was gonna do it but if you can do it that's but even better that's what i was saying i can do i i have minor illusion as a cantrip since I was gonna be like, it's all yours. <laughs> but just wanted to be clear on what you want. Yes, you you, want you, you summarized this? it perfectly. Okay. Make sure. How big is minor illusion? That's what I'm thinking. Because we could cast it twice, otherwise. I don't think Minor Illusion is very big. Well, it only says it can create an object such as just a chair, muddy footprints, or small chest. It must be no larger than a five-foot cube. Okay, so it's five foot that it, it, it affects. So that's going to be... that's Ten feet. Is whatever it is looking our way? Could just sneak past. Um, oh, well, uh, he, he doesn't. So, I'm uh, going to step back a little bit. Can I create a Ragnar for you? I do not have a token for him right now. For who? My familiar. Oh. Yeah, for earlier, I think you put the. the um, uh, I have the a goblin. Here. That's kind of appropriate. Yeah, we can all interact with this token, so we can all see with this token. I, I don't think it really... That's works. fine. Yeah, I, I just wanted to... I mean, because most likely Squall's going to communicate what, they, what he sees. <laughs> okay, have him roll me a spell check. Um, I will say yes, because you, I would assume you had, would you have had a Ragnar out the entire time? Entire time, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, you would have gotten it. Uh, that's going to be an 18. Okay. Do I 
So Ragnar uh, comes around the corner and kind of like actually kind of gets close to the ceiling, kind of like starts crawling on the ceiling. And he kind of looks down, looks around. And you see in pens uh, what look to be four guard drakes or four draconic beasts. Everything you saying, I am repeating. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, do any of them look to be looking in our, like, in the direction of the entrance? Nope. You saw you saw nothing in the the last room, right? Yeah, just some like lavish stuff. Yeah, uh, let's try to pass by this room since there's nothing. There's probably another way, or maybe there isn't, but like at least we can try. That's right. He has your dark vision, right? Yeah. One hundred eighty. But if we make sound, it may, it, it it's probably gonna like, um, call others on this floor. Yeah, but again, the only thing I saw back in the other way is some like barracks type stuff. So it might not, it might be that it's living quarters, and then we come this way, and we went away. But there's another way in this room. We don't. So Did Frederica go back and look? Yeah. Okay. We're like 25 feet away. A um, more, little more than 25, 25 feet. Uh, those, are, those are 10 feet squares? Yes. Okay, so yeah, it's it's like 18 seconds and I'm there. Okay, well, I'm looking in here, so Wall has no idea what you're doing. Frederica passes uh, Catherick. Does Catherick respond because uh, Frederica is walking your way? I look at her for some sort of answer. Okay, so I am going to uh, now have Ragnar move forward. No. So, um, I can't have Ragnar. So it goes away. Okay, let's. Move. Yeah, move let's. Still while we are in. I can't hear. I, I can't hear. Uh, Wall can't hear or see, so I can't move. So I'll That's why I have. Still. Like, uh, I have my hand on here. And, like, I, as you're telling him uh, that I can probably still uh, hear and stuff. So I have a... Okay. I'm going up to here. So it wraps around. So there's no way around it. Frederica would back that way. Actually, you probably saw her if he he you yeah. sent her sent him back around here. I just bamped him back. Yeah, but I mean to get to get him to over here. 
You didn't did you go down this hall or did you go down back over here? Well, I went yeah, I went this way. Yeah, so you would have seen Fre so Ragnar would have seen Frederica as he went around there. But then Frederica come after me. After Ragnar. So when it came no. here. No, I, I I it was while you were here. While you were first first year said the thing he moved back over here she moved back over here after you mentioned what was over here uh, so and here can, so then when you came through here you could say I, I think we should go here there's no one right there all right look, actually i won't bam ragnar back i'll just tell that i'll be there and just for ragnar be like it circles back to the same area we just saw all those enemies so it's we're gonna have to go through yeah, but you said there's enemy on your left and on the right, right? Yes, and it's connected to the left now. Yeah, plus the enemy in the room. So if we go this way, it, we're only going to have the enemy on the left to deal with, right? Yeah, and, and there are enemies on the left. I know, but like, that's what you saw. That's what I saw, yes. So at first, we'd have, uh, there, I saw a single enemy, which I thought was the one of them I saw in the hallway. So there's that group on the left side. Right side's gonna react, and oh. the drakes are in a pen. They're grouped. They're boarded up. Okay. What do you think? You, what do you want to do? Okay. While you're planning, I'm gonna actually refill my beverage. Okay. Be like, all right, he's right. Let's go this way. And like, have us all here. So we are. Yeah. So we can speak, and yeah. everyone can hear. Yeah. Um. Well, unfortunately, oh, it... we we don't know. You are right. If we go this way, it will be less at first. I'm not saying that it can't get more later, but it'll be less at first. It's also going to narrow it because there is a chamber and then that hallway. So there there won't be much. Maybe you and Boy can get in and um, do some stuff, but us ranged people in the back, we will have a hard time uh, bringing you through. Mm. Though. Which, which will be the same same thing in both areas. So it's it's half of one, it's half a dozen of one and six of the other. So, but we could lure we could lure them in this in 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 either this room or the next room. That way it wouldn't attract the whole bunch, and we still could do some things. And there's that chamber up, up here, I would say, and we can go this way to help try to do the chase funnel. By the way, you basically are seeing the same thing. Both of these two chambers are slightly different in formation, but basically the same thing. Yes. Two luxuriously furnished bunks. <laughs> Barracks. We're gonna have to fight people, so I don't mind where, when, how. Let's just do it. Choose. Get a better battlefield, so let's go up, up this way. All right, let's go. Melee up front. Yeah. So, we're still stealth. So, mm -hmm. probably gonna see by the corner. So I'm gonna hug the the walls. Yeah, I'm assuming you're just seeing stealthy this entire time, so. Um, I'm staying back. 
I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, signal the people to stay in the back of their room, and I'm gonna take uh, take a pebble and throw the pebble at the ground like around here. You're gonna throw it over here. Yeah, so that that they go there, or, like they 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 can hear the sound, and might as, wonder as why and go. As soon as. Okay. And you have shot up them. If they, yeah, as soon as one of them gets up. All right. Uh, give me a uh... initiative. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how, how, how best to do this. Okay, so let me remind you guys of something. Okay. So, general description of this area, area, or of the rooms in this area. The sound of the drag horn constantly moans through the well of the dragons. Okay, creates a constant thrum of background noise transmitted through the stone. So Pebble won't do it, but he said there's some monks here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Let's destroy one. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, like, see if there's one nearby me and kick it. I'm gonna kick it hard. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. If I if I take like a, a a hand axe and throw it, since I have the thunder knuckles gloves, I do like siege damage, right? Uh, against objects. Yeah, so I can just throw one at a uh, at a like a bunk and it just crumbles. If it doesn't work. Yeah, but the yeah, but the. The question is, will it be a loud enough sound to cover the cacophony? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just going to go and hit people. I mean, I, I have the cacophony, so... Uh... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, is, this is too much sound. Yeah, it really is not con... So in some sense, you could be talking normally, <laughs> and no one would know that you are. He's just, uh, he's just not in line. Okay, well, okay, well, let's do this. There we go. Cool. Roll for the initiative. Yay. Initiative. boy uh i think key tricks you're supposed to go f uh faster than me what's your dex a lot lower than yours i still have two dice rolls yeah, yeah but they're both got 21 it's just yeah, yeah federico's the only one who had the tiebreaker Five. Let me check. Oh, yeah. I was gonna have. I, I was gonna put twenty in my initiative. Yeah. There we go. So, basically, I would definitely give you guys a surprise round. Um. So I would allow you all to to get into whatever positions you want to be in. Then we'll be over. So, 
Um, so the question is, do you want to just all just basically wait on Squall? No. <laughs> Sister is not that patient. Uh, You're not going to allow him to pull? Huh? He, <laughs> You're not allowing Squall to do the pull? Yes, yes, yes. We can. Because you could ready an action to as soon as they... They come into the room in, in range to hit them. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that. That, that, that works. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna ready an action to attack. Chris, can you be the explique person right now? I'm gonna ready an attack whenever Boy the same is gonna re he's gonna be ready to stab. So boy is readying to stab. Okay. Ethric, are you are you gonna ready in action? I am I the ready in action? No. Okay, so because the ready to action ends up becoming an uh, a a uh basically ends your turn, essentially. Or yeah, I think steady aim lasts till the end of your turn, right? Yeah, so I just said ready in action for bow and for the arrow. So as soon as you see see somebody you're gonna have fire off an arrow. As soon as I see a human being, knowing I don't get it. Okay, please, thanks. <laughs> sister is still here. <laughs> well, sister isn't necessarily an enemy, you're just afraid of her. There's a difference. She's just a threat. Well, being afraid doesn't necessarily mean somebody's actually a threat a threat to you. Anyways, Frederica, I'm assuming you're going to ready an action to to hit something when it comes in range. Yes. Um. Uh. Well, squall. You only have two beans at fourteen. When do you get three? Okay. Five, oh, no. five, eleven. Well, it. All right. uh, you, don't you have advantage since you were in a surprise round? Technically, you want to roll again just for for uh, advantage. In case we, in case you crit. Yeah. I literally get the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'll allow you to roll again. Uh, not an advantage because at this point he's aware that you're attacking him. He's not looking great though. So beam number two. But that is a crit. <laughs> wow. Wow. So after your first attack, he only had five hit points left. <laughs> well, the crit was a little bit overboard. <laughs> a little lower count. Do things well, okay? I don't half-ass shit. He's dead. He is <laughs> dead. Uh, you hear some, what the... Actually, you probably you, you, no, no, no. you wouldn't really be able to hear any specifics, but you hear some sounds coming from that direction. Uh, you can't really tell any. You can tell there's sounds coming from that direction, but over the dracard and all the cacophony that's happening through the halls here, you can't make out anything. Uh, any? I'm assuming you do just choose not to do the third beam. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have any other targets. Goes, he hit him and he goes, oh! and his head just kind of blows off from the force of the second one. <laughs> the third one actually goes out and it, and it just hits the corpse and doesn't really do anything at different. <laughs> why not? Hmm. Really? 
Ja. Before all time. Zindralov sees that and <laughs> and sees Squall just go. Um, win? <laughs> and Zin's like, eh. Is he just like a... he, he's just gonna be like, uh, hold a holds up a hand with a little flame in it, uh, which is obviously him reading a sacred flame, since it's a cantrip. Uh, since no one's no longer surprised, uh, this, uh, uh, and we just charge with Harold. See what? I uh I couldn't see the enemy like this one? Oh, oh I just I just wasn't sure where you were. Oh I see. Like either you were doing the Oh yeah, I was doing the the the, the movement thing. Yeah, but I couldn't see Wait, it. what the heck is going on? Green was moving too. But yeah, uh, this right kind of kind of like, huh? He's squall and dashes. He just sees squall and does this. Yeah, he gets hit once. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold him here. Yeah. Uh, is there's like some ready to actions that can go off at this point in time? There is. Uh, that'll hit. That'll hit. I think uh, Boar needs to kill. It, it's just rolled the damages. Yeah. It's gonna die. Yeah, I think I have to have the lady fight him to kill him. Yeah. It's a death. So there are there are legs at the space where boy is, and the the head goes all the way to Zindelov. just sliced in half, like lengthwise. Wait a minute, hold on. I need I need to refresh this for order of operations. I think Petrick goes first. Then yeah, 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 yeah. I know the order. It's just I need to back up and put it in the order. So hold on. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, boy. Okay, so that uh, Frederica, your attack does not go off. You technically still have a readied action. <laughs> so, so here, here's what happens: the guard Drake comes around, sees the corp, corpse. It looks looks over, sees Squall, and starts moving, charging towards him. He co comes in as he gets in, into the door because I would assume that he probably would, you could probably see him here, right, Keyser? Uh, yeah, I could see him around this side of town. Okay, so you would have so order of operations. His would have gone off first. He he. he uh, growls, uh, annoyed, but nothing stopping him from continuing, so he kept moving, and uh, all of a sudden, this uh, Valdonkin boy stabs him in the back and kills him, because he wasn't looking to get to begin with. I, I will say this, Keithrick almost killed him. <laughs> and boy, after st after stabbing him with, with his green dragon tooth dagger, goes, huh, I didn't even need the poison. <laughs> A little disappointing. I have an idea of how to get more to just fuck him. Back so, back. Then 
Okay. It's not your turn yet. I know. So, so boys, like, oh wait a minute. Where's more? I feel like I'm still in initiative. <laughs> He's gonna look around the corner. He goes, "Yep, there's more." He's gonna go there. Uh, you can't. He ran out of movement. Uh, I actually no. He could probably bonus action dash about there. Yeah, sixty feet of movement. Uh, and he still technically has his action. If he did, does he did did he do more than sixty or? Uh, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna calculate it. Nope, he does exactly sixty. Perfect. So yeah, he's gonna read the action. Uh, stabby stab stab, I guess. Uh, Keith Eric. Nope. But you're still in initiative. Because you can't see anything right now. Frederica. I'm going, Sam, you went too fast. So she's going to go there and just just like a, a baseball player ready her glaives, be like, oh, this one is going to get it. Yeah, this one was off center. Oh, what are you? Federica. Uh, oh, I think I think this would be a combination Catholic and Federica triggering their ready yeah. actions. So, as I uh, see, that will hit. And plus, he can probably see it first because he's yeah. he's further back and sees sees it. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Uh, can Keith Rake roll your damage? All right, thirteen, six. Um, here's the thing, though. I don't think he would have advantage on that. Yeah. Uh, no, he probably hit before he got there. All right. Yeah, so no team with that. Uh, oh, yeah, because they, yeah, no, you're right. But guess what? He's out of boys' range. <laughs> so go ahead and make an answer. <laughs> so then we can use Frederica's again. Back. Yay. So, so we got, uh, 27 was, was the one for the, or 26. <laughs> Damn, plus three. Yeah. Why isn't it not included in there? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know. It's, it's uh, in any case, it's... Alright. Oh, he dead? Like, what the hell? I'm all alone now. Yeah, I mean, probably because I was doing the measurement. Yeah. Sadly, that's as far as you can go. But, Squall. He's there. Bam, bam, bam. Just gonna do it one at a time. No play. Ooh, that's gonna hit. He's not looking too great. Yeah, I, I think that'll hit. <laughs> so, um, okay. just for the sake of it, Sister is gonna drag the corpse to the back of the room. Sure, I'm gonna drop that. Sure. Yeah, we are. So you just gotta like pile them onto the beds or something like that. Yeah, they're they're sleeping, right? 
<laughs> what's what's a card trick doing on on the bed? And the smart wizards are gonna be really pissed off. Did they eat all the jam? They're covered in jam. <laughs> why does this one have a hole in it? Why why is there two of the of this? Why is this one's head missing? <laughs> Actually, two of them probably had their head missing. But uh, Final Fantasy, uh, 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 wind music. Do 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 do. Copyright Square Enix. <laughs> yes. um, boys, do you want to? Uh, to this wall, do you want to go scout the head? Let me stop check. Oh yeah. Do I need to redo that? Yeah, whenever he goes away, it redoes it. One eighty, right? Yep. But do, at least don't pop it out. Put it in a random room. Yeah, but I mean, like when you when you pop them out, just take them somewhere else on the map. You put it there. Put it. Put it. The caves that we saw, so nobody. Yeah. Well, that's why I just put in this. Just right pop them in the sinkhole. <laughs> yeah. Them in the room that's what we were in. yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, he should still have it. Okay. Hey, Keithrick has not lost concentration, and I don't think it's been an hour. Cool. Yes. And it gives you the ability to even cast in the first place. Um, so, bunch of pieces over here. Oh, so do you tell us that you see civilians? Yeah. yeah. Well, I see a bunch. Of, I can't. I'm not sure what they are. I just I see people over here. You see people in shackles. Actually, let me see if I got a better description here. Okay, right. so you do see uh, some pr prisoners shackled together, uh, and it looks like the uh, the guards are rounding them up. I see a photo of... You relay the information? Uh, yes. Every, anything that Wynn says, I see. Yeah. Uh, I okay, see cool. Us, I see five guards. Go 
right, so we need to go and save those. Those were one of the biggest objectives that we wanted to save. Uh, actually, with that that place uh, looked like there was a fancy or neat door oh. up here. Up here. Okay. Neat door. Very black. You guys ready? Uh, I I don't know how to contact that. Um, are you ready? What what are we doing? Oh, we're saving those uh th those uh prisoners. Yeah, well, let's go. Go. So I'm gonna go there and hide in the corner. Save the boy. Go right here, and I can pull again. Um, yeah, let, let's do the surprise round. All right. Well. Yeah, it's probably these, and the love is going to follow and everything. Love's probably, like, right here. Got everybody. Well, strangely enough, Zindralov went first. Or goes oh, first. The two and the three. Ah, okay. Back there. He's going to be kind of peeking around the corner, and as soon as uh, he's ready, he's going to. I could flame him. Keep it simple. Barrica. So I will. So all the squares are, um, they're thirty, uh, they're thirty, they're ten feet, right? And I believe that's how it's calculating. This is a big place. I'm gonna go there because it's 40. I'm gonna attack this one. I thought we were gonna have me pull them. This is Frederica. I understand it. She's throwing everything at me. Yeah. This is Frederica. The answer is this is Frederica. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, cool. So, does the first attack? Hit. Yeah. Okay, that. I didn't see the the X. So um, I'm gonna attack this one. Second attack. They're not in range. Well, I have a glaive. Yeah, he she's she's got ten foot. Oh yeah, yeah. You would probably you would have to move one more because. Pretty sure he's not taking like ten feet, and I'm not taking ten feet. That's why I. I think yeah, for, I prefer... technically, yeah. I mean, for for here, you would five feet and ten feet would technically be adjacent. Now that I'm thinking about it. So anywhere between five and ten feet, you would be able to to hit. And if somebody's going to be adjacent, I'm five feet away from them. But they're, they're, he's just outside now. It's like 15 feet. Okay. Yeah. This one? No. If, it, if they're not adjacent to you, you can't hit them. Okay. So, um, I'm going to start. Yeah, the downside to the, the downside to the map. <laughs> All right. Boy. Boy's going to bonus action dash. 
and go there. This one can make an opportunity attack. But uh, probably not because he's gonna he's not gonna pass five feet against him. I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's close enough. Hug this one. He parkours around, so he stays he stays out of melee. If the first one, or the, the one in the upper left, and the, the the first one he's passing, he's like always in the melee for, and then he's like melee for the. And he's gonna attack this one with this. He doesn't have advantage, but I think twenty three is gonna hit, and he doesn't do his sneak attack damage. Uh, but hate deal thing is still hate deal thing. Yeah, uh, he doesn't look too good. And that's his turn. Cool. Squall. Yep. I would say you could see. I would say you could keep him. Hit him. Yeah, that's fine. Correction. I would say that you did. You hit them. <laughs> so eleven. Well, it's just eleven. Oh, it's just eleven. Okay. So, yeah, the genie dress is only on my first attack. Okay, so he's not dead yet. Keyword yet. Uh, yeah, spread. Hey, yeah, he can move. Yeah. We, so for the the same guy. Yeah. Same second guy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Just you just didn't do enough damage that, that first one. Uh. All right, I'm gonna do all three. One, two, oh, three. <laughs> All right. Blast, motherfucker. All right, one bug boy is gonna attack boy. Boy. Yeah. Gonna multi attack boy. Uh, so one, two. I thought it's going to do much if it does hit. The boy has 18 uh, AC, so the first one does, the second one doesn't. Boy flushing. As I said, said <laughs> it's not going to do much damage if he does hit. Hey, I know his, hit, I know his, I know his HP. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's more than you, okay? All right, Catherick. Uh, wait, this one doesn't move. Oh, that's right. I, there was. I have another one that's still still up. Okay, yeah, he'll move. He'll move over. He he'll multi attack. Oh, hey, this pack tactics thing comes in handy. Uh, so one, two. Both hits. So seventeen damage. There you go. Now, Catherick. <laughs> Okay. You you only have like a sixty foot dart vision. So you you kind of hear hear battle going on, but you're not sure what's going on. You can just see me lobbing bolts of energy. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Oh. Too bad. So Zindralov comes up and he just kind of like does a flick of his wrist uh in the in that direction. Um and uh but you see that the that one of the uh dragon claws kind of dotted some fire that kind of burst from the floor. Federica. I'm just gonna approach and be like, which one of you bitches hit my boy? Don't even wait for an answer. Which one dare you attack you first? Uh, the the first one, this one. This one, the the one up top. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And then the yeah. one. So he cut off his head. And you slice off his head. There you go. And I will say this. These encounters are not supposed to be hard. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Oh, yeah. It bothers. <laughs> Has anybody used any spells? <laughs> like, leveled spells? Nope. Um, no. But boy is, gonna go, boy is gonna go seize in be like, my harm hurt. Well, let's do something about that. Uh, and let's do a uh, here. We're here. For 16. Just probably overkill. <laughs> no. Oh, you got more than that? Yeah. So one, one attack, he took 17. Oh, okay. He's at 20, uh, I think it's five, uh, seven, five damage left. Okay. Well, it's enough. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's it's not enough that's worth another spell slot. <laughs> exactly. Well, in this case, he didn't even use a spell slot. Okay. All right. Um, spells of battle have been removed. So now there are no more sounds of battle. Okay. Squall's probably like, oh. <laughs> Boy will probably go up and and help, or or will probably co go and he could probably easily search the dragon call claws for shackle keys or something to unlock them. It's like it's okay. We're here to help you out. Get your shit out of here safely. It's fine, right? I believe the Emerald Enclave should be coming this way any moment. Uh, the it, what, there were some other people down the hall, weren't there? I mean, if we could clear the way to help them, or do we want to see if there's a way into the temple? I believe that was our main objective. The Emerald Enclave, we've got to be here. An ornate door down this way. So, I'm not sure exactly how many are down this way, but if we try to get to the temple, ornate door really sells that point. Yeah. I guess we should go to the ornate doors. The ornate doors, yeah. Um, shouldn't we escort the prisoners? Well, if we're gonna leave them here, if we're gonna be quiet, leave them here, the Emerald Enclave should be pretty easy. So, I, I'm gonna pick up the, uh, all the weapons that, of the, the, the persons on the ground and give it to them so they can defend themselves. They gracefully uh, accept it. So, were, there, were there any other like clear wounds we could like it to be not here? Well, yes, there are a clear room um, back this okay. way, and I, I'm gonna give them the way to the um, uh, where where it's collapsed. Tell them uh, you you probably can try to like uncollapse 
the rocks and exit by there, but the, the work is not done. Well, also the entrance you came in were, was blocked. Well, yeah, you 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 got through from Ghost Walk. But it's blocked like there are rocks blocking the the, the passageway, or like it's a hundred percent collapsed. Like, okay. yeah, it it's like completely impassable. I mean, it, I, you could if they could do something kind of like the trick that we did to to get through it might work although when i was going through through the thing it, i i really couldn't see any actual gaps but i mean that was just thanks oh by the way uh squall i didn't actually use this and it gives you back to the gaseous form motion I think the, the first empty room we found would be the best. I mean, but we don't have the time to lead them there. We need to keep moving. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving them the, the, the direction. Follow the the, the blood the blood stain. Uh, when you find no blood stain, turn left. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, one of them actually kind of takes the lead. Takes when the uh, he, he, four of them have scimitars and they just kind of like go this way. And they kind of like do a little exploring it. They'll end up at a place. I'm not going to tell you where they are. What is Ragnar? Oh, wait, I moved Ragnar. <laughs> so you know where they are. Back with you. I was just letting him know in case I need him. But he's always with me. He's leaving a token right here. Okay. Unless I actually need him. Gotcha. Kind of like I was doing with them before. Yeah. And I will follow you. Oh, wait. Um, which way did that go? Uh, up. Ah, okay. This way. <laughs> he tricked gotta you. Love, gotta love devil fight, man. Gotta love devil fight. So there's a Nornit duel. Mm hmm I'm gonna try to open it. All right. Hold on. Let me verify something. Sorry, those rolls. All them rolls. What roll? In D and D Beyond. Uh, not D and D Beyond in the uh, uh, Discord. In Discord, uh, there are rolls that were done in. I linked a campaign to to uh, Discord channel. Plus, we were kind of playing with it while we're doing another campaign. <laughs> so, all right.
Uh, all right, cool. There you go through the door. I think it's a, it's a uh, kind of a. All right. The map is huge. Number forty-one doesn't seem like a lot. All right, so we'll 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 set the scene, and then I think we'll we'll end up adding it. But it will maybe yes, answering questions. Let me quickly over here. Uh, give me a marching order. Like, get everybody in a marching order. Just want to know how you guys enter through here. Well, Zenderlove not as far from me, so be pretty fucking far. Well, well, I, as I said, Zinderlov is with you, but. Yeah, <laughs> that's a joke, but yeah. Mm. The Zen in the middle is good. Okay. Oh, here. Well, you got plenty of space between him and Frederica. Frederica's here. You are currently under a squall. <laughs> I think. Well, I'm under just pizza. I'm in a pizza. Okay. So, and where are you, Keithrick? You disappeared. I'm right here. I don't even see you. <laughs> I moved squall to try to see. Or are you under Zin? Yeah. Oh, oh, now I see you. Okay. <laughs> the password I'll trace for the yeah, let's let's stick to being in squares, please. <laughs> I can actually see you. Well, technically, they could be on the same squares. Those are ten feet squares. No, I, was... I mean, yeah, but be this is for visibility here. Yeah, I know. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> No, that wasn't the case. I could, I literally couldn't see him at all. I zoomed in and everything. Um, kind of. I'm going to assume you kind of entered into, all entered into this so that uh, we, get, we get this. But there we go. Wow. Wow. I think we just entered the main place. So, you guys are down here. Yeah. It's time for us to get can you can you see where I'm pointing? This is a huge map, by the way. Okay, you guys are down there. Once, once your eyes adjust to the stunning chaos of Tiamat's temple, you see see that its interior is a single cathedral-like space that towers far overhead. Five distinct vaults branch off the central gallery, though so the overwhelming color of the place is the color of the place is lifeless, ashen gray. Each of the side side vaults shimmers brightly blue green or blue green, red, white, or black. The hues of the evil dragons and their world consuming queen. Red wizards stand in each of the five vaults, chanting and channeling magical force into the central apse. They are a kaleidoscopic whirl of arcane energy rises above the blackened floor, stretching up into the twisting recesses of the temple's central spire. And that's where we're going to leave it, because I think this might take a while. So uh, I don't want to go too late in the night. So it's I'm cutting it short just because next session I'm expecting to be a lot longer. Uh, according to streaming time, an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> it is kind of cut, but um, it's it's 
This might take a while. I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm okay with it. It should something like that happen. But when it's a fight that I know is going to take take a long time, I'd rather be all prepared and ready for it, and and uh, and have the time to actually take to get through it. Yeah, but but is it though? Like, is it to be that long? I will say this, if you engage anybody in this chapel, you are initiative until everything is over. Yeah, yeah. So so it's it's going to be constant initiative. There's no there's no exploring or anything. Yeah. It's an encounter. Yeah, but they they they, they are starting their ritual already, right? Yep. So yeah, we're not going anywhere else. Like we're stopping that shit. Mm. But there's no like battle this red wizard. Stop initiative. Go to another red wizard. Stop initiative. No, it's initiative during the entire time. Yeah, yeah. Getting anywhere in between this place. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's supposed to be lit enough where you can essentially see everything in here. That's why I basically made the map clear of. Clear fire war. Hundred feet apart. Uh, how high are those? Um, those from like, let's say this one, which I guess it's there, but like upstairs. I mean, but it's set on the map. Or is it down somehow? Uh, you're on the bottom floor. Everything is above. So this is this is the first level. This is the second level. This is the third level. The only thing is, there's no stairs or anything. It's just one big open area. Okay, so it's they're flying. Okay, okay. Pretty much. And we see this one clearly, or we don't. Uh, it's. Everything is is you should be able to essentially see everything. Okay. Um it, it might be to various degrees. See. Yeah, because the description, the, the box text description tells you basically everything that's essentially going on that you see. So I would say in this area it seems dimly black. So it is a little shadowy, but Let's see. Level two is in a zone fifty feet above ground level. Okay. Uh, zone three is a zone one hundred feet above ground level. Ah. All right. I learned how to take three tokens. <laughs> Click them and hit delete. You won't have a choice to split. Okay. Well, that was a nice game. BRB next week, I guess? Um, no, uh, Stomp DD is better than like Yeah. yeah uh, Plus. What better way to have our fiftieth, the fiftieth episode of Bears and Dragons, than with the battle in the Temple of Tiamat? Yeah. I just it, this is just gonna it's just gonna be lengthy and, and crazy. So I I just, I don't want to have like an hour or so that we have left. Um, or two. Uh, yeah. Or so it's, that we would have left for for time and being too late. I work tomorrow, so <laughs> I'm also. Oh, fortunately, my boss, even though he's technically off tomorrow, he's going to log in at the beginning and end of the day. 
because we've got new hires. In addition to the new hires that just started last week, in addition to the new hires that started the week before. Anyways. Glad, glad, I'm, I'm glad we got out of it. Sorry it was shorter, but I, I just want to have a complete battle during this session. Bye. Bye, kids.